Good day everyone, I am Jake and I will discuss about foreign exchange rate basis. Three common ways to forecast currency exchange rates. Using a currency exchange rate forecast can help brokers and businesses make informed decisions to help minimize risk and maximize returns. One is purchasing power parity. The, per the PPP forecasting approach is based on the theoretical law of one price, which states that the identical goods in different countries should have identical prices. Kumbaga, ang presyo ng lapis sa US ay dapat katulad sa presyo ng lapis sa Canada. The PPP approach forecasts that the exchange rate will change to offset price changes due to the inflation based on this underlying principle. Bilang halimbawa, sakaling inaasahan na tataas ng 4% ang presyo ng lapis sa US sa susunod na taon, samantalong 2% lamang sa Canada, ang inflation differential ng dalawang bansa ay 4% minus 2% is equal to 2%. Dahil mas mabilis ang pagtaas ng presyo ng lapis sa US, ang PPP forecast ay kailangan mag-depreciate ng US dollar ng 2% para maging pantay ulit ang presyo. Kung sakaling 90 cents US ang kailangan sa kada Canadian dollar, ang PPP forecast exchange rate ay 1 plus 2 percent times US dollars of 90 cents per Canadian dollar is equal to 92 cents US dollar per Canadian dollar. Ibig sabihin ay mga ngailangan ng 92 US cents upang makabili ng isang Canadian dollar. Bukod sa formula na nabanggit, may isa pang formula para makompute ang PPP forecast. Ito ang S1 is equal to S0 times 1 plus HC over 1 plus HB. Where S1 is the spot rate or exchange rate after one year, S0 is today's exchange rate, HC is the inflation rate of a country or currency coating, and HB is the inflation rate of the base country or currency being coated or denominated. Gamit ang naunang halimbawa tungkol sa presyo ng lapis sa US at Canada, S1 is equal to 90 US cents times 1 plus 0.4 over 1 plus 0.2. Ang sagot ay 92 cents in US ang kailangan upang makabili ng isang Canadian dollar. Number 2 is Relative Economic Strength. The Relative Economic Strength approach looks at the strength of economic growth in different countries in order to forecast the direction of exchange rates. The idea is that a strong economic environment or country and potential high growth are more likely to attract investment from foreign investors. Upang makapag-invest sa napupuso ang mauunlad na bansa ay kailangan ng mga investors na bumili ng currency ng bansang ito na siyang magpapalakas sa demand at magpapa-appreciate sa currency nito. Aside from economic growth, a general view of investment flows between countries are needed such as interest rates. Ang mga bansang may mataas na interest rate ay mas nakakapuko ng mga investors kumpara sa mga may mabababang interest rates. Bagamat ganun, ang mga bansa na may mga bababang interest rates ay kadalasang inuutang ang kanilang currency upang pondoan ang kanilang iba pang investments. The relative economic strength method gives the investor a general sense of whether a currency is going to appreciate or depreciate and an overall feel for the strength of the movement. Three is econometric models for forecasting exchange rates. Econometric models are using and gathering factors that might affect currency movements and creating a model that relates these variables to the exchange rate, usually based on the economic theory. As an example, suppose that a forecaster for a Canadian company has been tasked for, with forecasting the US dollar to Canadian dollar exchange rate over the next year. They believe an economic metric model would be a good method to use and has research factors they think affect the exchange rates. From their research and analysis, they concluded that the factors that are most influential are the interest rate differential between the US and Canada, the difference in GDP growth rates, and the income growth rates, differences between the two countries. The econometric model they come up with is shown as US dollar per Canadian dollar times 1 minus year is equal to Z plus A I times INT plus B times GDP plus C times IGR where Z is the constant baseline exchange rate, A, B, and C is the coefficient representing relative weight of each factor, I and T is the difference in the interest rates between US and Canada, GDP is the difference in GDP growth rates, and IGR is the difference in income growth rates. 
After the module is created, the variable int, gdp, and igr can be plugged into generate forecast. The coefficient a, b, and c will determine how much a certain factor affects the exchange rate and the direction of the effect, whether it is positive or negative. Ang pamamaraang ito ay lubhang matrabaho at komplikado, ngunit sa oras na matapos o makapag-formulate na ng model ay mas madali na ang paglalagay ng bagong data at pag-generate ng panibagong forecast.